The Nehurst Caribbean Youth Science Forum, CYSF, is a leading educational program for nurturing young scientists and engineers in the region. Held annually during the August vacation, the forum targets lower sixth form students studying STEM subjects, which are science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This year, 140 students from Jamaica, Barbados, Grenada, Antigua and Barbuda, and Trinidad and Tobago got a taste of university life. Residing in dormitory-style student housing at the University of the West Indies St. Augustine, and participated in a week of intense activities. The forum provides a rich and broad experience of science and technology from the academic, industry, and research perspectives, along with a generous mix of social and cultural activities to help shape these future leaders in science, technology, and innovation. The sessions left students charged with new energy for developing their skills and abilities to fulfill goals and also for pursuing purposeful careers and becoming exemplary citizens. Participants enjoyed engaging presentations, hands-on workshops, and one-on-one -on -one interaction with leading scientists as well as experts from business and industry. Topics included advancements in medicine and surgery, biotechnology, renewable energy, software engineering, and neuroscience. These deepened their understanding of the role of science and technology, particularly as it relates to the Caribbean. I've, I've, had, a, I've had a very rich and varied career, and uh, I typically follow my passions and my interest in the one thing that is uh, consistent in it is that creativity is my energizer and curiosity is my friend. And we even have an event socializing with scientists where the students are able to sort of career speed date where they meet the scientists and they converse with them, they ask information and they get to know what do I need to do now in my life so that 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I can have a fulfilling career. And um, it gives us the opportunity to, you know, ask questions and, you know, sometimes even diversify ourselves and wonder, okay, what other part can I take, you know, as a scientist? To experience science in action, students were taken on field trips to a range of institutions throughout Trinidad. In breakout workshops at the Teaching and Learning Complex, students developed and practiced skills in leadership, communication, teamwork, critical and creative thinking, and problem solving. Another highlight of the week was the design challenge where students applied science theory to solve a problem. Here was the scenario. Imagine a global pandemic where you and your team have fought your way to a safe haven of a local mall with the infected securely locked outside. You are to use recyclable materials found in the mall and in the nearby forest to design a system to purify contaminated water. Taking it a step further, students also had to develop a testing kit to monitor the water quality. Right here, we are doing our water quality testing here. So after each um, team completed the task, we actually brought their samples here to test the checkability and the pH of the water. Some teams distilled, some filtered, some did all sorts of things. Inside, we have the non-fire ones. Outside, we have all the, all the children who lighted up um, fires to distill and things like that. And we actually got two teams that succeeded in reaching our WHO water portability standards. Each team then had to present to their peers and to judges a design journal outlining and detailing their designs and its effectiveness in purifying the water by testing turbidity, conductivity, and pH levels. Um, in terms of the science, I think our project was also successful in that we were able to get completely one liter of water um, our pH was almost perfect and our turbidity was also great. Conductivity test was also a success. Later in the week, they were taken to the National Science Center in Derby, where they were treated to a host of hands-on exhibits, along with two on-the-spot surprise challenges. These consisted of a building challenge and debate session. 
encouraging quick but strategic thinking and analysis of topics in science and technology of direct relevance to the Caribbean. Trust me, if you understand science, you can do almost anything. As the week came to a close, participants awoke before dawn and set off to the Shagaramas Forest for an activity called Science Seekers. Here, they harness their abilities for communication and teamwork while learning new skills for survival in the wild, such as building shelters, useful plants for food and medicine, collecting water, rope bridging, and they also participated in two new activities, man down and minefield resupply. As night fell, the focus shifted as participants showcased their many talents at the Caribbean night concert. They sang, danced, mimed, played instruments, and made oral presentations to the delight of their peers. So far, my experience has been very great. Everyone has been so nice. We met so much people. We learned about different cultures and stuff, and we went to different places. Um, the scientists were very interesting. Um, we, ha we had the opportunity to speak to a uh, lot of scientists, and so far, the experience have been, has been a very excellent one. My experience at CYFSF has been amazing actually. I love the fact that I can meet young scientists just like myself. I like the fact that we come together as one team and we're friends. And I also like the fact that there's a perfect balance between fun and learning. On the last day, teams were rearranged to keep participants on their toes as they competed in fun and physical challenges at the Forum Olympics. Spirits were high as impromptu chants were composed to cheer each other on in this last hurrah together before departing for their homes and home countries. If you are ever lucky and gifted to attend this forum, please take the opportunity.